Hi, everybody. This is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Uh, I'm coming late to this debate regarding Colin Kaepernick's uh, protest, national anthem protest. And so I thought that I would just sh say, you know, a few things about the issue. I don't think that, of course, it is a question of whether he has the right or not to do this. There are endless ways by which he could express his political opinions uh, on any matter uh, that he chooses to weigh in on. Uh, that's not the point. The question is whether there are particular places where it is appropriate or not to engage in this otherwise protected speech. So, for example, we know that uh, churches or houses of worship in the U.S. are supposedly uh, banned from uh, openly supporting a particular uh, political candidate, right? And there are reasons for that. In the case of the NFL, they do, they have all sorts of codes of conduct uh, that could be as banal. I think Eric uh, Dickerson mentioned this on a recent show he appeared on, you know, as banal as how you wear your socks or whether you wear your shirt in or out, and you could be found, uh, fined for that. And so when it comes to uh, the national anthem, uh, yes, of course, he specifically chooses to engage in the protest at that moment, precisely because it is a very uh, austere moment where hopefully he can draw attention to his position maximally. But of course, there's also a question, it doesn't matter whether it's allowed or not, or whether it's protected or not, whether it's the appropriate place to do it. Let's, let's, take an extreme case. Let's suppose that from now on, every single time there is a national anthem, think about, for example, in soccer, in the World Cup, when the 11 players on each side stand for the national anthem, and each of the 22 players decides to put up a uh, sign or engage in some behavior of otherwise protected speech that would not be something that most people would find particularly appealing, right? So the way you sometimes test these uh, controversies is to take the particular behavior to its extreme. So yes, Colin Kaepernick uh, is certainly allowed in terms of the uh, First Amendment rights to take on a political position. I'm not sure what the NFL's uh, position is in terms of their code of conduct. But the bottom line is that most people use good judgment in deciding whether to do actions A and B or not do them. And uh, to the extent that he is uh, choosing a very uh, austere moment to engage in this behavior might not be the best decision. Again, the best way you test this is to see what happens if from now on, every single time a national anthem is played, Every single player uses it to express uh, his or her uh, position. That would not be something that most people would support. So if viewed from that perspective, yes, he's allowed to express his political opinions, but I suspect that there are better ways and better places where he can do so. Talk to you soon. Ciao.